What's going on you guys? It's me Anarchy Ninja. So today I want to talk to you about E3 and Battlefield 4. And it, it literally just ended. I watched the Battlefield 4 thing which is mainly what I was watching it for. I didn't really care too much about the other games. Look good but Battlefield 4 is one. what I want to talk to you guys about. And they finally came out and first they showed the single player. At least that I saw. I saw single player first. And we all know how bad Battlefield 3 single player was. It was not good. It was supposed to be, according to some people I've heard, but it, in my opinion, it just sucked. I think most people will, will agree with me on that. It was not that good. But this time, it looks different. It, the graphics, you know, the, the graphics look good for single player, but yada, yada, yada. The, the way he was moving, the guy, whoever was playing, I mean, the way they play, it doesn't really show how the game's actually going to be played. I mean, he never sprinted. He just kind of wandered around, you know, trying to show you the graphics and the cinematics, which were awesome. And I can see why, because he's just trying to, you know, they're trying to sell their game, make it look good. But it looks like it's going to be better. The, they had the, you know, squad feature. You could tell them what to attack, do that sort of stuff. That's a plus. I like that. Kind of reminded me of uh, Brothers in Arms. I don't know if any of you played that, but way back when, you could do that kind of and I like that. The graphics look good, and the cinematics when they were shooting at the jet, like when they're on the carrier and the jet was about to fall and they shot it to crush the enemies. I like that. Throws a whole new element into it. You know, you got the basically cinematics uh, and what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of it, but whatever. The environment interacts with you. I guess you could say. I like that. It didn't really do that in Battlefield 3. It just was so lame and just go here, shoot them. You know, and it didn't feel like your teammates that were next to you, the, the AI, if you want to call it, they didn't do anything, you know. In most games, they just stand there and take a thousand bullets, and that's all they do. Here, if you can actually implement them to attack the enemy, you know, put that into the game, that that's huge. I like that. You know, it makes it feel more like an actual war. I've never been to an actual war, but, you know, I could imagine, you know, not just one guy doing all the work. you got a squad or a group doing the do, sharing all the, the work you know and that's the way it looked to me so I, I'm definitely excited for single player I'm not gonna be buying it only for that it's definitely for the multiplayer which that's what I really want to talk to you guys about multiplayer you all know if you know me it's all about multiplayer that's all I do single player play it the first day get it over with back to multiplayer you know that that's the way it is and so far I like the intro of it like when at E3 I was like how are they gonna show the the multiplayer <coughs> excuse me I didn't know how they were gonna do it like how, if you're gonna do 64 people like how you how, I was just wondering how they're gonna do it and then boom there's 64 people on stage I was like well that that's pretty cool I'll give them that that was pretty freaking cool and the way it started out you know riding on the chopper the graphics so the, one of the first things that hit me was it looks so much better than Battlefield 3 at least to me I mean maybe some people don't agree haters you know haters gonna hate but it looked better to me the I thought the chopper looked a little shaky when they were coming in. I don't know if it was just me, but it looked good. The guns looked and sounded awesome. And the one thing that kind of got me, the way they were playing the multiplayer, uh, it just it felt so staged. I mean, they, they must, I don't know how many times they planned it in, like, okay, this squad goes here, you go here. At this time, I'm going to drive over a tank and you shoot it, you know, shoot the stuff. It felt way too staged, which, again they're trying to sell their game I get it but it, it didn't really it was not the way multiplayer is gonna be played D to have 64 man people coordinated and stuff is not gonna happen in most cases maybe some of you hey you got 64 friends and they all wanna do it hey by all means go right ahead I just don't see it happening especially if you just go in there with a bunch of randoms it's not gonna happen but that's the one thing I, I noticed but they're just trying to show you the capabilities of the game I get that where it really looked staged to me, at least the first time, was they were in the subway or whatever it was. They were underground. <coughs> Excuse me. And they see the tank coming. And so he starts calling out, hey, I got C4. So he shoots the support beam. The the road caves in and the tank just happened to be there and fall in and the guy can see for it. I mean, oh, and now my dogs are marking. That's cool. But that, it, what are the odds of that? You know, if you're going to just get on stage, you've got maybe five minutes, however long it was, to do this and... Bang, the tank just happens to be there. They just happen to be there with the C4 and the 320 or whatever he shot to take out the pillar. It just it was so obvious, but it did show you, which was which was what they're trying to do. It did show you the way the game moved, and that is an awesome feature. I'm glad they do that. 
they sh they showed that. It shows the uh, environment interacts with you. I like that about the game. It's not just you're on a map. You can use the map to your advantage, and that that's a cool way. Hey, if you don't got a tank, maybe all your tank guys are dead or your rocket guys are dead. There's a way you can take out tanks. You know, and I mean, they did a lot of that in Stalingrad back in World War II. I'm not gonna go to history, but it, that's what it reminded me of. There was a game before that. I remember you did that on a single player yeah, mission, and now it's in multiplayer. Soldier. I think that's freaking awesome. I mean, I like the way they did that. And then I gotta say, the destructibility looks good, like usual. It, look, it definitely looks like they improved it. When they're going in, and all the bullets are flying, the tracer fire, all the stuff's falling. I love the way it looked. <coughs> Excuse me, it looked way more like a, a real gunfight. I mean, I, again, I've never been in a real gunfight, but it just, you could imagine, you know, it, the, the bullets flying everywhere. Pieces falling, not like Call of Duty where it's just, you know, it's, yeah, I mean, no, I'm not even going to talk about Call of Duty. But it just looks so good. That's the main thing that I saw from it. It looks so good. It looked fun. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know how it's going to transfer over to consoles, though. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think Xbox One is going to have 64 players on it. Maybe they will. I don't know. So let me know, because I, I don't recall if I've been told or what the answer was, but... If they don't, I don't see how they're going to put that into the competitive side, which is what I want to play. That's why I like Call of Duty, It's because competitive. Now, I hope they can do that for Battlefield, which will make Battlefield way bigger. Not saying it's going to be picked up by MLG or anything, but that's what I'm hoping. And that's one thing that got me nervous. Those maps, they were so big. You can go up and down high rise. You had Ocean over here. You had these guys over here. With however many players you're going to put in there, if it's not 64, that's a lot of ground to cover. And there's going to be a lot of low points in the action. Nothing going on. That's what got me nervous. Cause, <coughs> excuse me. I'm a console gamer. I don't game on the PC. If you game on the PC, hey, this game looks amazing. Don't get me wrong. It could be competitive. But when it comes to console, if it's not going to be 64, I really don't know how that's going to work too well. We'll have to see. Didn't really like the way they did it on Battlefield, Battlefield 3. It just didn't feel right. I mean, we tried competitive, but you get on those big maps, it's just... I don't know, it didn't feel like there was ever any ground fighting, which, or, excuse me, infantry fighting. There was always tanks and jets and helicopters, which is fun, but it just needed something else. Like, all the people would be taken up by vehicles on console, not not PC, and that's that's what I'm kind of worried about. Maybe they're going to change it, maybe that was one of the, the maps they chose to show, obviously, and that's how it was. Maybe there's different styles of maps. Sure there will be, but that's just some of my thoughts on it so far, and let me know what you guys think about it, if it could be competitive and I hope it is but we'll see and another thing the elevator people were freaking out about the elevator I don't quite understand why this is before I saw the the gameplay or anything but now I understand now you gotta get to the high rise I was wondering like, what is the elevator gonna do take you to the second floor that's the way I thought but when they showed it taking it to the top of the high rise that was awesome I like it I could see why they had the elevator some people were really hating on Battlefield that that was their big thing they're gonna say it, it wasn't so if you're a hater like that, just shut up, okay? <laughs> but I can see why, and I like that dynamic they threw in there. You know, getting to the top of the high rise and you had to take it. I like that. It, it, I don't know how to describe it. It didn't feel like there's one flag here and then 20 feet away there's another flag. Some are up there, some are on the bottom. I like the way that was, and I like the way it looked inside. And one thing I liked about it, you can, from what I saw, I might be wrong, but you can connect it to your iPad and use it kind of like those... Uh, attack pads, I don't know what they're called, but like, you can call an airstrikes from them. I thought that was pretty cool. I don't have an iPad, and I might, probably won't get one just because of it, but if you have one, that's a pretty cool option. I'll give them that. That's pretty cool. But, we'll see, but you call in the airstrikes and do that sort of stuff. That looked pretty freaking cool. And the building's falling. That was awesome. Anyway, the video's about to run out, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new to the videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Have a nice day.